Hi, so today we'll understand about the shadow file uh, which is, which is uh, located at etc uh, shadow and uh, this file stores the password information and other details. So uh, once you open the file we can see uh, the format as like this. So here uh, the first goes with the user so it can be any name you have uh, created the user with or if it is root it will be simply root. Uh, then uh, it goes with the colon and then we have the algorithm which is being used so dollar one dollar means uh, md5 if it is dollar six dollar it is sha 512 so as the dollar uh, integer and the dollar increases uh, it means uh, it is uh, using the more most advanced algorithm for securing your password okay so then the next part dot pj till uh, that this dollar part is uh, like uh, the like before this all part is the salt so to salt is basically uh, used as like kind of random data which is being uh, mixed with the password so that uh, it generates a unique uh, uh, unique unique password again because uh, in case like yeah, suppose user one and user two both have the same password uh, so in that case uh, the algorithm will be generating uh, same uh, say, same encrypted things so uh, or encrypted strings for that to add some random uh, part uh, we use salt so salt is used for uh, that random data for mixing it with the actual encrypted password so here is the hash of the uh, password which is being stored here after the salt and then we have the days since approach of last password change and then uh, the next part uh, with zero is like uh, how many days uh, means uh, until you can change the password so if it is zero so you can change it every day every uh, moment i mean if it is one then at least minimum one days you have to wait for changing the password then the next part is like uh, uh, till how many days the password is valid so if you put to uh, seven it will be uh, your password will be valid till seven days and after that it will prompt you to change the password and the next field goes with uh, the number of days before like once your password is about to expire so how many days before it should start warning the user that your pass password is expiring and you need to change it and then and then the next field is like the number of uh, days without login uh, like if you created an account but nobody had logged in i mean the user has not logged in so uh, if it nobody is logged in uh, then it will by default log the account so those features are here and the last part is like uh, how many days it has been since the account was logged so once your account is logged even if you uh, type the password it will not allow you to uh, log in okay so let's get on with the hands-on part so i am into the ubuntu box so i'll open etc shadow file the password is denied because it has to be open with pseudo privilege so here uh, like you can see like jenkins is my user and dollar six dollar is the algorithm so in this case it will be sha 512 which is the most secure algorithm being used for uh, encrypting the password and then uh, till this dollar part we have the salt uh, so this is the random data generator and then we have the hash of the password uh, till this part then it goes uh, again with uh, like the apoch uh, password change and then it's like how many days uh, you, um, before you can change the password so it is zero i can change the password now itself and this is the again if you go like uh, how many days uh, you are allowed uh, to log in with the same password and uh, like it goes further so seven is again like number of days before the expiration uh, it will warn me so this is how it is 